Hey guys, welcome back to another episode at Development Division, and today is going to be a vlog, the first of the vlogs. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the vlogs coming back, because last time I did it, things were a little bit cringy. It's just going to be stuff like at the shop, stuff I do every day. Update, what all is in the shop right now? Well, we have the hard top because the hard top is off. I'll give you guys a walk around of the Jeep, what it looks like in the summertime when the top is off and it's hot and it's good weather outside. So that'll come up in a second. We have the Rogue. This is uh, Abraham's Rogue. You guys have seen him on the channel. We're upgrading his Rogue slowly but surely. Just put on some wheel spacers. We got the roof rack in a couple weeks ago. Uh, we're gonna put red mud flaps on here as well as add RGB interior lighting for this guy. So you can control it with this phone or the uh, controller it comes with. And you guys will see that in a separate video. Probably not gonna do that today. My friend Xavier brought me by this uh, ATV and here it is. The rear axle is broken and I'm gonna try to replace it with this replacement axle he got me over there. So uh, right now I actually came to a complete stopping point because I don't have anything big enough to turn that. Uh, so I have to go to the store and get a big ass crescent wrench. Tanya is still here looking good. I know you guys are tired of me neglecting this poor child, but here it is. I'm going to start sanding it off. I have the sanding blocks and all that stuff to get started on sanding. I'm going to try to paint this myself. We'll see how that goes. And we have a tiller here. This tiller does not work and I need to make it work. I know nothing really about this tiller. I messed around with it a little bit. I actually took the engine apart and put it back together and uh, got to start up a little bit. And uh, yeah, so now I just gotta make sure all the stuff works, like the articulating stuff. And uh, So the customer is trying to source out some belts and a new air filter for this thing. Uh, first project today, we're gonna try to attempt to get this computer chair up and running again. So let's go ahead, start the B-roll, and let's introduce the new ride of Development Division. So I picked this thing up, a neighbor actually just was freshly dropping it off. So I swooped around, threw this thing in the Jeep, and there she has it. We have a new chair at Development Division. Uh, a lot of, I didn't really inspect the chair a lot, but from what I was picking up from the short time I had it, is that it's dirty as hell because this is the original color of the seat. And look how disgusting it looks now. And also the wheel right here, is broken so you can't roll like you want luckily you can replace these with uh, ones from Walmart and so I'm going to be going to Walmart bringing this with me and try to get a similar size one if not I'll just buy all five of them and just do away with some new wheels So I ended up did finding some wheels of similar size. My dad had some laying around, and honestly, these look nearly identical, as you can see. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this one on and see how she fits. All right, so there it is. There is the end of the chair story. Rolls around really nicely. All right guys, so here is time for the walk around. And as you notice, I do not have a top on. Kind of a wild card, because I never take the top off. But it will give me some access to show you some of the stuff I've added in the rear section, and uh, kind of show you guys all the specs. So without further ado, I'm gonna walk back around to the front, open up the engine bay, and we'll talk about what exactly is under the hood. All right, under the hood, there's nothing Really crazy, except for my custom fuse box. I made this out of a lunchbox. Cost me about 60 bucks for everything. And I can hook up all my accessories to it. Works pretty much just like an ice pod. Um, my NGK plugs, plug wires I should say. I'm running uh, Bosch double platinums in here. And 
uh, actually champion double platinums as well as an Optima yellow top. Back up a little bit, I have a Red Rock 4x4 snorkel paired to a K&N air filter. And on the front here I have my Hella Horns, these are Super Tones, and this is a Mishimoto transmission cooler. Back up a little bit more and we have our stock bumper with an Olympus 4x4 winch plate, along with my Smittybilt 9.5K winch, Factor 55 Fairlead, and flat E-Link. Ox beam fog lights with a yellow vinyl wrap. Now for tires, we have BF Goodrich KO2s. This is a 31570 17. Stock rim, plasti dipped black. And in here we have some JKS sway bar disconnects. If you can look way deep in there and see that. As far as the lift kit goes, I have a Trailmasters 3 inch coil lift. These are Pro Comp coils, and I have these stock Rubicon shocks. I actually got those stock Rubicon shocks when I got these rock sliders a long, long time ago. This was like maybe four years ago when I first got the Jeep. And let's talk about lighting. I have NVE Phantom headlights with uh, some just eBay clear turn signals and signal marker lights. They've kind of yellowed over time. KC Gravity LED spotlights. These are pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and put the cover back on. Cool. Alright, I have a Rugged Radios ham radio here. This is my antenna setup. I'm honestly probably going to move it up a little bit once I get my roof rack. Uh, it seems like a little bit of too much interference if I have the roof rack there as well. Let's talk about what's in the cab. So right here I have my switches. This one, windows or backup lights, is the rear lights. I'll show you guys that. They're mounted on the bumper. Did that mod quite a while ago. I have my windshield lights, which of course are my KC daylighters. And my rock lights are, let's see, one right there, it's KC Cyclone. There's six of them, three on each side. I have some uh, eBay grab handles. A alien shade and here's the ham radio here as well as my Cobra 29 LX here custom heated seats in cab winch controls high kit throttle controller and ESP kill switch coming around the back side here we have some these are China special JW speaker knockoffs. They're like 60 bucks on eBay. Bought them and they haven't gave me problems since. No moisture in them. Uh, pretty nice. Rampage products. Euro Light Guard. We have a Amazon gas cap cover. Standard issue fire extinguisher hooked up with a bar tacked fire extinguisher holder. Dominion off road high lift jack mount along with my Harbor Freight high lift jack. This is a uh, Smitty Built regulator here. This is for airing up tires, using air tools, anything like that. Uh, the company uh, in town just switches to tanks with me. It's cool. I really don't care about that Smitty Built tank that uh, I got from that guy on Craigslist. But anyways, I have that tied up to the rail bar with my power tank mount. Also back here, let's go ahead and open up the trunk or the gate. Uh, this is my CB antenna. This is a Fire Stick three foot antenna. Put a tennis bar on there so it doesn't bounce around too much. This is a Dirt Direct off road light whip cable, or light whip, whatever you guys want to call them, buggy whips, whatever. Those are both on quick disconnects. And also, right here is where I mounted up my Blue Ridge uh, Overland gear headrest. It has a uh, Velcro on the back of it. And you can, uh, I just use it to velcro the first aid kit up there. License plate relocation bracket. This is from Amazon. This is about $20 worth of stuff. And I made it look pretty good. Kind of trimmed up some of the, some of the parts of that assembly. And uh, came out really clean. I have a vector off-road. Third brake light here. This is actually paired up to a flasher. So when I hit the brakes, this one actually flashes. Um, down here is a trailer mounted light you can also pair it up to your verse lights I only use it as a tail light 
It lights up around the edge. It looks pretty sweet. As far as the, lic uh, the license plate, delete cover, it's Poison Spider. And honestly, I'm pretty sure that's all the mods on the Jeep, I think. I don't know, I'm probably forgetting a ton of them. But there is your general walk around. I haven't really touched too much modifying any of the control arms or anything like that. I don't even run a front steering stabilizer. But anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this walk around. Let's head back to the garage. I'm about to hop into working on the ATV again, but again, that will be in a separate video. The ATV will be its own video. Sorry about that, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the walk around of the Jeep. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for something like that. Anyways, uh, that'll be all. Like I said, see you guys later. Subscribe to the channel, please. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.